So we just did a walk around on the all new Taximantis and we're gonna go and do some off-roading in it, kind of see how well it handles. We're gonna be doing some insane articulating washes. If you look ahead, it's pretty bumpy. This road is not a car road. This is definitely an off-road Jeep or truck trail. And it's definitely not designed for trailers. We've got the trailers up here. We also have a camera guy in the back of the trailer itself, which I don't like towing trailers with people in them, but we're not going that far. And he uh, said he wanted to go and ride in it and see how it does back there. So we'll see. I have a feeling he's gonna do something to us. I hope not. You know, another thing is this is not our first time testing. Like, but we've taken this, we were up in Colorado on this crazy washboard road. We went to, I think, 11 or 12,000 feet elevation. We were hitting bumps. It was a roamer adventure. The roamers are people that buy trailers from us. They become roamers. And so we were out there with an adventure of maybe 10 trailers. And the Taximantis was one of the units out there that we were testing. This is when we first signed up with them almost three or so years ago. And the trailer, I mean, it was hitting some pretty hard bumps. And now we're gonna go and like we always are trying to test things and put them to their limit. This area, I'm worried about maybe the articulation that we're coming up on, if it's gonna be too extreme and that we're gonna be dragging the trailer in spots. So we'll see in just a little bit. Oh, here's where the bump is. Oh. Please don't jump anything. <laughs> I'm at 14 degrees right there. 14 degrees. Feels like it's handling. I think this truck's rated for like a few thousand pounds, so it's pushing it to the limit. There it was. <laughs> well, if we're beating it up, you might as well go in the trench. Huh? I said if we're beating it up, you might as well go in the trench. Why? Because that jack might come off. This tire is probably going to bounce that crazy though. Am I going to hit the gray tank? No, you already passed it. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. That sounded bad. How'd that look back there? Did I break it? You did quite the bounce. Did he hit anything else? Oh, shoot. What? Yeah, you get you got the back end of it. Did it break or? It's a little bend. Is it on the jack or the trailer? No, the wall right here. It must have. Oh, yeah. Must have caught, caught a little bit. Well, that's not the trailer's fault. That's that's my stupidity. Jordan, you're the one that told me to go in the trench. We're trying to beat it up. <laughs> right. Might as well go in the trench. <laughs> We wanted to see how these do off-roading. Yeah, it was doing fine, but... It popped up on like a <coughs> crazy rock that you just happened to hit it. The tire it. went up and then it dropped. Right on it. That's so frustrating. Well, like, if I was on... When I went up, I avoided the trench. Coming down, the camera guy's like, might as well drive in the trench to test it out. And I'm like, but I would never drive in the trench in a normal situation. So that wouldn't have happened, but... Right there, that's the one. He's crazy. We call him Sasquatch because he's an animal. He's an animal. <laughs> it 
Okay. Well, we got some more articulation coming, so let's go through that and then get the heck out of here. Did we drag the trailer anywhere though? That's impressive. Doing great. What did you do? Huh? What did you do, Jordan? <laughs> you see it right oh, now. come on. <laughs> Poor little guy. Hey, it looks fine, though. Looks fine. Doesn't look like it actually did anything. Hey, that's the nice thing about the camel wrap. You can't really. The jack kind of shuffled it off. Yeah, the jack looks fine too. Oh, maybe we bent it a little bit. We may have, yeah, because there's a thing right here, so it's bent just a little bit. Well, there you have it. ROA off-road. We are off-road for a reason because we like to take our trailers off-roading and we like to test them and we like to put them to the limit and that, that trail is pretty crazy. We don't call this the ruddy road, we call it the nutty road because it's very ruddy and we're nutty for being bringing trailers on it. But there you have it, Taxa Mantis Overland Edition. If I was smart and I stayed out of the rut and didn't listen to the camera guy, all would be well on a crazy trail like this. It did those other crazy up and down ruts really well. It's just that deep one was not good. And we we're pulling it with a mid-sized truck that's technically probably rated for under 5,000 pounds and he probably has about a thousand plus pounds of cargo in it so it's probably really rated for three to four thousand pounds with how much he's loaded on it and it did really well so there you have it thanks for watching got questions come check us out we're ROA off-road in Utah South Carolina we have experience centers where you can come and see the campers on site thanks for watching and we'll see you soon bye-bye